Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this morning it's about 8 o'clock. My wife and I are getting ready to uh, go on a little adventure today. We're going to go uh, drive about two hours away, do a little hike, um, do some fishing, and have a picnic. So uh, tag along with us and um, let's see what we can catch. All right, we made it to our destination, and this morning we've driven up to Blanchard Springs to Mirror Lake and the Game and Fish stock trout in here. So I'm gonna go try to catch a few fish. My wife got a little car sick on the way up, so she's gonna hang out in the car for a few minutes and then join me. So let's go take a look at the lake. Okay, so I made it over here to the lake. Looks like everybody's, a few people are catching some fish off the pier over there. These folks I walked past walking over here said everybody was catching a limit, mainly on power bait. So I'm gonna just have a hit on the Helgramite there. It may be too big for them to take. I've got a Got that Zipco that I from my last video rigged up over here to uh, fish power bait with. So, all right, I think that Heller might was too big for them to actually get in their mouth. So, I'm gonna switch over to power eggs, the power ball fish bite and won't let go. Well, we're gonna see about that. So, hang tight, see if we can catch something on this. switch over we'll see how the worms do this is what we're fishing with the power bait fish hold on 18 times longer we'll again we're going to put that to the test Quick release. All right, I'll see if I can land this one. Oh, we're gonna land one before we leave. I'm trying to horse them in. I guess maybe I should play them a little bit more. There we go. Oh, it must be just wadded up right there in that spot because I get a bite right there every time it floats through there. All right, this is the cast. We're gonna land this fish. Catch one, land one. There. <laughs> Spoke too soon. They like that worm. Can't get the hook in them. Let them take it a little bit more. There. I think we got him hooked that time. All right, one more cast and we'll go get some lunch. Famous last words of a fisherman. All right, one more, one more last cast and then we'll... You may have moved on from that spot. I see what you were talking about now. I don't think those are fry, they might be. Fry, I don't think they're trout babies, but I guess they could be. All they put in here are stockers. They don't I mean it's stocked by the game and fish. Um, put and take, basically, is what they call it. They put them in and people take them right back out to eat or whatever. Oh, I had one. Let me see if I can get him. Definitely the last cast. There we go. Okay, 
Hopefully we land this one. Then we'll go get some lunch. Or maybe he'll be another quick release. Good size fish. All right, we finished. We uh, had, oh, here's a quick tip. The bathrooms are closed because of the COVID-19. So 56, the town of 56, like the number 56, has a store. Very nice lady in there. What was the slug's name? Uh, I forgot. She has a slug on the counter. Go ask her the name Herbie. of it. Herb, Kirby. Herbie. Herbie. Herbie the slug. Yeah, go, go check that out. It's one mile from the entrance to Blanchard Springs. So Janice feeling better from her sickness and we're going to walk down to the waterfall. All right, now we're headed to the Blanchard Springs where it actually comes out of the ground, right? Uh, yes. All right. Out of the caverns. Out of the caverns. Ground, cavern. Okay. It comes out at 58 degrees. Three, two, one, go. What? All right, that's Blanchard Springs Cavern. That's where the water actually comes out of the ground. The gist of the sign there basically said that rainwater through the years has soaked into the Ozark Mountains. And as the mountain eroded, eventually the water started. Am I correct? Something like that. Yeah, they kind of created the spring and it washes through also bat caves, which uh, washes out dead bats. And actually, it was called Bank, Bank Bat Sanctuary. Wash through banks, such sanctuaries, <laughs> washing out dead bats and what do they call bat poop? Guana? Yes. Yeah. Don't drink the water. That's the rule for today, kids, here at Blanchard Springs. You can touch it and look at it. Don't drink it. Don't put your fingers in your mouth. Okay. Okay, that's going to do it for this uh, video here from Blanchard Springs, Arkansas, uh, Mirror Lake. If you want inf more information, I'll put it down in the description below. Uh, we had a great day. I caught a few fish. We had a picnic. We walked and saw where the the uh, springs come out of the ground. I mean, it's a 70 degree day and it's going to rain for the rest of the week. So, and we're in the middle of quarantine. Uh, remember, check the look at the date of this video because right now the um, visitor center is closed, so there's no bathrooms. Um, I know I said it in an earlier clip, but we drove to a little town called 56. Yes, the number 56, um, and went to a little convenience store there. Um, so anyway, that'll be uh, this video. If you like and want to subscribe, hit the button down below. Give us a thumbs up on the video. You know what to do. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Uh, we got to go walk and see where the caverns come out of the ground. No. No? Caverns don't come out oh. of the ground. We got, we got to see where the river starts at Blanchard Springs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We yeah. got to see where the springs come out of the uh, ground cavern. here at Blanchard Springs Cavern. All right, you gonna get in the picture? What? The bathroom into the lake and the river. Don't don't pee in the river. Huh? You, you said there's no bathrooms, but there's always the river in the lake. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I said all it's open. <laughs>